If you have watched some of my previous videos, you might know that I'm some of a opportunistic uh, shopper. I don't always just go and buy like a brand new thing I want. It's more like if I see something that I'm somewhat interested in that is on sale for a great deal, then I pick it up. That's how I often end up with slightly older tech, but still great. And that's why you see so much of it on my channel. We may even say that this is more of a, like a tech deals channel at some point. We'll see how it goes. But here's the best deal of the week that I found personal. So let's see what we got here. Now, here we go. Very nice. So this is a Razer Barracuda. Mercury edition. This is a wireless headset. Razer, of course, being a gaming brand, you can say this is a gaming headset, but it's also, and that's kind of like what I liked about it, it's also kind of designed as, you know, it's not too gamery. It's kind of an everyday headphone uh, that you can wear at the airport, you know, or to college, to school, whatever, just, you know, going shopping in the, in the street, subway, whatever it is. So it's kind of like urban style, but also, it has some features here that make it uh, great for gaming, which uh, you know, we'll look at in a minute. And so what kind of deal I got on it? All right. It was uh, on sale for 65 bucks. I'll just throw it right out there. Normally, uh, MSRP on this is $160. So we're looking at $95 off, 65 bucks. Yeah. So $95 discount on this. I got it from Best Buy, but uh, Amazon had it as well. And they said it was on clearance, and that may be so because Best Buy now shows this specific color, and I think the black one too as sold out, but they still have a pink one as of the time of this recording. And on Amazon, they still have the Mercury Edition headset, but now it's around 120 some dollars. So that price of $65 is now gone, but they still like to share this kind of finds for a couple of reasons. One, in my experience usually, especially with Razer, if something goes on sale, even if it sells out, they get more inventory and it usually goes on that same kind of sale again and usually lasts for a few months. It's like that Basilisk uh, mouse that I got, the Basilisk Ultimate, yeah, here it is. Uh, they have a video on from a few weeks ago. It was a great deal, it was like $67. And, you know, I thought I had to grab it real quick before it sells out. And here, you know, a couple months later, it's still available and it's still $67. So there's a very high chance that this headset will come back in stock and on sale again. And the second reason why you might find this useful is if you find it on sale yourself, and if you're like me, you just go onto YouTube uh, or Rumble or whatever platform, and you want to see what people think of it, I didn't see too many videos on this specific model, the Barracuda. I saw tons of videos on the Barracuda X, and I saw tons of videos on Barracuda Pro, but not too many for Barracuda. So that's another reason why I figured it might be good to share. So quickly, let's take a look at the box. I'm not gonna read all that, but you can, of course, pause and read if you want to. The back of the box, so just your highlights. They claim 40 hours of battery life, that's great. And I heard they sound pretty good too, and that's kind of like what I want. I want a good sounding set of headphones that I can take with me on trips, or I can just use at my computer desk, or use with my laptop, or even when I'm watching TV. So this sounds like it might be a good, good fit for that. And I have some headphones, I have some wireless headphones, but there are always some compromises. They either too heavy or they're not loud enough, so yeah, you know how it is. You can always use another pair of headphones. They're never too many. So now that I'm done with excuses of why I'm spending money on more stuff that I probably don't really need, uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. And here it is, it just the first thing you see when you open the box. And I gotta say, the box in the presentation is actually very nice. It'll actually, in my opinion, will make a great present too for whatever occasion because this is a very nice packaging for sure so soft foam here and then as soon as you open it you present it with your headphones 
let's put this aside for a minute. You have a cable? Very nice. I actually had no idea it was gonna be white and I have several razor cables which are always very nice you know they're good quality they're sturdy um, braided and uh, they're all black this is the first time I actually got the white razor cable and I'm pretty excited about that from USB-C to USB-A and of course your classic green razor USB cable so we'll put that aside Let's see what else we get here. Looks like I have to salvage this open to be able to get the rest of the stuff. Like, oh, maybe not. Maybe I didn't have to. Too late now. Classic Razor stuff. There's a welcome letter. And, of course, some instructions, which I am, of course, going to skip. Okay, so there's actually another cable. That's, that's nice. I didn't realize there was one. Oh, okay, so... Um, okay, I get it. So this is an extension cable for your dongle. And the dongle. Oh, geez, there's, there's one more cable. It's a really nice set of features and stuff and uh, accessories for $65. And honestly, I think it'll, it'll be at that price again. So if you're interested, keep an eye on it. Maybe some kind of price tracker. Because I am very confident it'll be at this price again. And the pink model is, in fact, is still at this price on Best Buy. At least it was earlier today when I checked. And we have the 3.5mm jack cable here, or audio cable. And also, very nice quality. Also braided and white. That's cool. I like that all the accessories match, and even the receiver dongle matches the color of the headphones. Razor. Now this is interesting. So it kind of um, the actual plug is at 90 degree angle. I mean it'll work perfectly fine for me, but I can see how for some people it might block some ports on the maybe a laptop if that's how they use it. I guess you can always flip it around this way. The beauty of USB-C, thank God. We're done with micro USB or whatever. So we'll put that aside. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual headphones. So when they say, when they call them Mercury, I admit I kind of expected something like silver, right? Does that make sense? Mercury? I think so. I don't know. But no, it's actually just white. Um, I didn't mean to sound disappointed. No, I like it. I actually like the white. It's a very nice clean and smooth feeling body, I guess, and a very good color, very nice clean color. So let's see real quick. I believe these two holes contain your microphones. And this is uh, actually kind of what I like about them. So they can be used for gaming. It's Razer, so it's still technically a gaming headset, but they don't have any kind of microphone sticking out in front of your mouth. Uh, your microphone's just built in here. now. The sound quality is prob for the microphone is probably not as good as some of the more like professional or competitive gaming headsets out there, but should be good enough for most people. Now, if you need something a little bit more professional or extreme for gaming, then I'm sure you don't need me telling you what to get. I'm sure you know what, what you need. Then we have our USB-C charging port here. We have our standard 3.5mm jack over here. Um, this is probably a light, as far as I can tell. We have power button. See if anything happens. Yep. Okay, so I just heard it speak. And we have the volume control here. So it seems like the volume just spins infinitely. Uh, that's cool, I like that. And we have microphone mute button here. I'm not sure which position is in mute, I think. Probably when you click it in there. So the headset just went into pairing mode. Might as well just go ahead and get it paired up, I think. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, it's in there. Sorry, I'm not sure on the screen. There's some possibly uh, names with some possible private information, you know, <laughs> Bluetooth devices. But it is now connected. 
All right, so great, connected to Bluetooth. I'll check the sound quality in a minute here. I also like the weight. They're not too heavy, not too light, and um, this feels good. Now I have a kind of a big head, and this seems like not a very big uh, headband, but they feel nice and uh, stretchy, so I think it'll be okay. And for the the padding here on the on your um, on the headband or whatever the the piece you would call, it's pretty nice. It's very soft and leather. It says razor on top. Honestly, great build quality for the price. And I, I mean, again, the price is actually MSRP is hundred and sixty dollars. With that money, you would expect something real nice. So to snag it for sixty five dollars, man. I feel like a thief. And next are ear pads. Also very nice. I believe the memory foam, they honestly feel great, super soft. And I like that it's um, like a fabric material here. I think it's some sort of sports fabric that's supposed to you know, prevent heating and sweating, stuff like that. And I like that, because I have several sets of headphones similar to this here that have kind of like leather or leatherette uh, ear pads. And th this one, I mean, it's a very good quality headphones, it's a Vimoda, so this one is holding up great. But some of my other sets, like AKG and Sony, they start falling apart and cracking to pieces or maybe even ripping with that kind of material. And here we have the sports fabric that I hope is gonna hold up better. Now, being this light, I assume it might get kind of dirty after a while, especially if you have a sweaty face. And I'll be honest, mine does get like that sometimes. So, I don't know. Um, they can be replaced though, so that's another benefit. Yeah, they can very easily be replaced. I'm not gonna peel them off now because it's a pain to put, put them back in there, but yeah, you can always replace them with the same kind or leather ones or you know, aftermarket. All right, let me uh, go ahead and throw this on. I give it a quick uh, listen test. So I listened to them. I listened to a few songs and a couple of things that I actually uh, realized as I was uh, using them to actually uh, listen to some music. So first of all, for the size. So as I put it on my giant egg-shaped head, started uh, pulling out there to get it about right size. And uh, yeah, I noticed that it's actually pretty nice. It has a little metal insert there. Also a plastic piece, but it's nice and smooth, and it kind of stays in that position, yeah, you know, decently well. Yeah, I think you'll be happy. And I just noticed there is another like couple of holes in the top, so I wonder if it's either for a noise cancellation of some sort or another set of microphones. I'm not sure. And I think there is another microphone. No, never mind. Those are the same microphones I already looked at. So anyway, yeah, there's several microphones here. Um, like I said, I didn't get a chance to test uh, the microphone quality. I just don't really have any friends they play with or anybody to talk to with that. So I'm just going to skip that part. But from some other reviews that I saw, people say that the microphones pick up your voice better than Barracuda X, but the Barracuda Pros still sound even better than this. As far as sound quality, I guess the most important part here they sound good. I like it. They actually have very nice balanced sound. I expect them to be more bass heavy, but they're not. They have just the right amount of bass to sound great. If anything, I feel like they have a little bit more of like high frequencies that I prefer, but you can always tone it down a little bit in the EQ, so that's not a big deal. Other than that, it's actually very good balanced sound. I like it. So they, they definitely sound for or they sound like $160 headset. If I had only one complaint about the sound quality, I'd say I wish they went up just a little bit louder than they are. They're playing loud, and the seal is actually very good. Um, I tried to, like, I, I paused the music, and it was still very quiet, and then they, they seal great. Just kind of wish they went up in volume, just a little bit more than that. But again, there might be a way to, uh, to squeeze a little bit more out of it with some, uh, some tricks and equalizer. At least with my phone. With a computer, you might have a little bit more room for that. So, all in all, very nice set of headphones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and inject this 
here. So I actually decided to go ahead and use them for some time before I finish this overview, review, I don't know. So I used them last night, pretty much all evening, and I used them for a couple hours today. And a couple of things that I might have said already, I might have to take them back as, as far as uh, my experience with them and how I feel. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, say when I mentioned that the volume, I wish the volume was a little bit uh, louder. Um, I'm actually kind of want to take that back. No, it's actually plenty loud. So I don't know if maybe the song choice was wrong when I first tested them because it was only for a few minutes. But after listening to like wide variety of music, it's actually uh, plenty loud. So I can just put it there. Uh, I actually had to turn it down a little bit. With that said, yeah, the sound quality is really good for any type of music I threw at it. It was great. I have no complaints there. I'm actually very happy with uh, how they sound. As far as connecting to phones and computers, I did test that a little bit with a dongle and with Bluetooth. I kind of noticed a couple of interesting things. It's very easy to connect. And uh, I figured out what this button here does. I realized I haven't mentioned it. So what this does, it actually switches between a dongle and Bluetooth. So when you have both things connected, you can click this three times and it'll quickly switch from Bluetooth to your dongle with your computer or back. There are a couple of um, points of confusion, I guess, as I was first exploring them. Uh, when I was trying to switch from my computer back to my phone and it wasn't doing anything, then I realized that my phone actually disconnected from the headset or vice versa. So I guess Bluetooth times out after a while and shuts itself down, probably to preserve battery if you're using it with a computer. So you might need to reconnect it to your phone. I had to actually pick up my phone, open the Bluetooth menu and click on the headset and it quickly, you know, just a couple of seconds, it was connected right back to it. So there was no problem. And as far as the dongle connection, uh, that you notice the little light here and we saw kind of coming on and off a couple of times. So when it's connected to the dongle, it's green. When it's connected to the Bluetooth headset, it's blue. Pretty easy to tell which one you're using at the moment. So kind of cool there. And I also noticed that with a dongle, I can leave them. I actually left them for a couple of hours last night doing other things. And I came back and they were still just sitting there with the green light still connected. So you just pick it up, put them on, ready to go. As far as like gaming aspect or just use them with a PC, uh, I'm assuming the same with PlayStation 4 or 5. Mm, maybe not, maybe use Bluetooth for that. But anyway, as far as using it with the dongle, it's actually pretty seamless. And the response time, there's no delay whatsoever. If I hit pause, it instantly pauses it. So with Bluetooth, there's still like half a second delay. If you hit pause on your phone, the music actually pauses in you know, just a moment. But with the receiver that is on my computer right now, there is no delay whatsoever, like it's instant. As soon as I click the button, music stops. Kind of cool. So I'm assuming, you know, if you play competitive gaming, it's going to help. I'm guessing. <laughs> I just, I don't play those kind of games, so I can't tell. Uh, another thing, I haven't actually tested with the wire at all. I'm not planning on using the wire, so I apologize. I'm going to skip that part. But the power button, I was kind of looking to see, well, how do I pause the music or go to the next track? You know, any headphone does that. Usually there's like a play pause button. So your power button does that. When you play music, if you just click it once, it'll pause, click it again, it'll start playing again. Double click will go to next track and triple click will reverse back to the previous track. So that's how you do that. So also with that, um, after using them for some time, I came up with a couple of uh, nitpicks. I have not had any serious issues with it. Just a couple of nitpicks, three or four. One, using it with Windows PC was just a little bit odd and maybe it's on purpose. It might be entirely by design, but when I connect the headset, it switched my output on the computer to the headset. You know, you can actually go to your sound outputs and you can see it's connected to Razer. When I turn them off and put them away, my computer did not switch back to my speakers. So I had to go in manually to my sound settings or you know, a little notification area and select uh, computer speakers. Again, that might be by design, I don't know, but it was just kind of a, an extra step. I figured I just turn them off, I put them away and they'll go back to your computer speakers and it didn't. So keep that in mind if there's any confusion. Another little nitpick I noticed, when I wear them, 
and I was trying to adjust them around my face. I kept accidentally hitting this volume button and moving it up like this increases the volume. So it was a little bit annoying. It's not that it, you know, I was gonna go deaf or anything, but when you go all the way up, since it scrolls infinitely, there's no stop there. When you get to the top volume setting on whatever device you're playing from, it gives you a beep to let you know, and it just kind of mutes the music or you know makes the level of the volume for, of the music much lower. That's the beep, and then comes back and that lasts a second. And so hitting this couple of times caused that signal to come on, and it was a bit annoying. And I guess just a couple of other things. Um, I wish they went back to the flat position. So like this, so I wish they went back both ways, like this as well, because this is the left side. So when I wear them on my neck, and if I want to put them like around my neck and just kind of rest on my chest, they don't go all the way flat against my chest. So versus if they were the other way, you know, that's how I want them to be. Uh, that's a nitpick, not a big deal. I don't hold my headphones like that on my neck very often, but I kind of noticed that. And finally, the last thing, since they're all like so white and clean and everything, I just wish they came with some sort of carrying case or a pouch. Something basic, doesn't have to be anything fancy, but uh, nothing is included with it, and I just kind of wish there was. That's all I got to say. Overall though, uh, this is an excellent package. Also, when I connected to my computer, a message came up and asked me to download an update file, and after I did that, the headset showed up in my Razer Synapse software and can now be controlled from here so I have some some options uh, that I can do um, and change from uh, from my PC remember when I mentioned the headset just stays on powered connected so you can actually adjust that you can enable power savings or turn off so anyway yeah I didn't realize there was a uh, um, you know, there was all this uh, way to control its settings and options from the desktop software. I thought it was a little too basic for that. But again, you know, I guess for the price, MSRP, uh, you would expect something like this. So, definitely recommend this if you can still find them. <laughs> I don't know, they're on clearance. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead, leave them down there, and um, we'll talk. Bye.